This episode was recorded in front of a live stream audience. Join me at gaming.youtube.com forward slash the Jessa channel. Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube live was as we play the last express and we have traveled from Paris to Strasbourg and we're going to sleep and then wake up in Munich in the morning. And uh, in the last episode, we asked Tatiana to uh, translate our Russian poem, uh, the Countess Oblinskaya. The Count Ob Oblinskaya had a seizure, a strange seizure. We had a nightmare involving Tyler Whitney with an egg in his mouth. How weird is that? And also for kicks and giggles, we saw a conductor um, juggling three of his heads beheaded so it was really it was it was very family friendly it wasn't family friendly don't let your kids watch that i swear <laughs> anyway we're gonna head back on to our journey and uh continue on the orient express by the way it is uh june 23rd 1914 let's head to sleep and hope for no more nightmares So, by the way, we always choose mascots on our Friday pajama streams. By the way, I am wearing my pajamas. Look, YouTube, my pajamas, which I'm not taking off for the rest of the day. I had a shower and then I put my pajamas right back on. <laughs> and I'm going to bed after this live stream because I'm a bit sick. Uh, but Jasmine picked a... Um, Jasmine, what is that? I can't see what that is. Let me see. Oh, that's an elephant so small on the tablet but anyway um <laughs> Kaylin you're funny so everybody in chat is really enjoying this game as am I and you can see why it is my favorite game of all time has not yet been toppled uh and it is morning let's take a look out the window it's a nice beautiful day our first day on the Orient Express and uh, let's head out for breakfast, shall we? There's the little the women there. Oh, by the way, let me pull up the guide that I'm using that, uh, there we go. That will help us um, with every part of the game and all the fun things there are to do in the game. So uh, let's loiter in the red car. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour. Milos. There goes Milos. I wonder where he was. Um, at about eight thirty. Okay. All right. I'm going to back up, rewind just a little bit. Um, you can rewind different things. Um, and as I told you, you can not rewind different things. You can rewind the timeline. And then if you've rewound, you can also fast forward as far as you've gone ahead back to where we were. Uh, but I want to rewind because I don't want to miss a conversation. So I'm going to, oh, look at the train. Look at the train outside um, Munich. Oh my gosh. I love this game this game oh this game Bonjour, monsieur. Milos. okay so Milos. Milos goes back to his compartment and we'll talk to him in just a minute but I'm me. gonna stand around here and hope for a conversation with our poor conductor who had a long and rough night okay bye Drew hello Queen Welcome. Queen's mascot is Issy's mascot is a um oh a piglet. Oh, ho, ho, look at the little piglet. Hi, Issy. How long have you been with us? He's the cutest piggy. Okay, so there's a. 
Bonjour, monsieur. Est-ce que vous avez trouvé un passe-partout Non. Vous avez perdu votre clé Hier This soir, is really important. du compte à Bolanski. Elle est peut-être tombée de ma poche pendant la confusion. Cette clé ouvre toutes les portes du train. Je ne voudrais pas paraître suspicieux. Mais est-il possible que l'un des passagers vous l'ait volé C'est difficile à croire. Enfin, qui Peut-être l'Américain. Il a l'air d'un fauteur de troubles. Je l'ai souvent vu traîner dans le couloir. Le docteur Il était là. Il se parle de nous. S'il y avait tant de monde, il aurait pu profiter de la confusion pour vous la voler. Il n'y avait pas tant de monde. Juste Madame Wolf et Mademoiselle Tatiana. De toute façon, la clé a disparu. Soyez attentifs. Très bien, monsieur. They suspect us. I'm disappointed. Yeah, you big... Yeah. <laughs> Issy, you've been here the entire stream? I think this is the first time you spoke, though. Well, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> that made me mad they suspect us. I mean, yes, we're a criminal, but still. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna uh, knock on... That's Anna's door. We're gonna knock on Milos's door because we just saw him come home. Home, you know, to back to his apartment. Come in. Come in. Milos, we need to talk. Pazi, what's the name of August Schmidt thinks I'm Tyler. I went along with it to keep the game going. Now I want to know what the game is. Emi ništa da mu govoriš. On je bre žena od Tyler od prijatelj. Tebi je svako prijatelj. Kamen, sit down. Have you heard of unity or death? Sure, that's Harvard's motto. Where is it the post office? Unity or death is a sacred vow. Crna ruka, we have all taken it. Tyler too. He always liked that sort of thing. He gave his life for this. Tyler came to us in the winter. We were hiding in the mountains of Bjelašnica, north of Sarajevo. Šta se njega tiče gde je Bjelašnica? Pa hoćeš ti mene žaska glava da pustiš da govori? When Tyler came, he had no food, no guns, nothing. Tyler brought us guns. What did Tyler want from August Schmidt? Tyler was given a mission by the general himself. It was a great treasure that belonged to the Serbian people. What was it? It was called a Firebird. I never saw it. Tyler was to sell it for gold to buy the guns from the German. If the German finds out that we have lost the gold, everything is lost. You must tell him that we have the gold and that we want to buy the guns. Why should I help you cheat August Schmidt? Cheat him? How can you speak of cheating a German? The Germans are taking our land, the food from our children. We are like slaves in our own land. Tyler understood this. If you betray us, you betray the cause he died for. It's your cause, not mine. Te ga ubijem odmah. Zabranjujem ti, on je bio Tyrov prijatelj. Ti ćeš ga pustiti da izađe odavde? Ti si veća budala nego što sam mislila. Oh, by the way, Herr Schmidt mentioned that he was having some merchandise put on the train at Munich. So long. Madame? That is one angry woman. Pardon. Uh, pardon me. Okay, so she's taken off. <clears throat> I'm curious to know where she's going. Pardon. So let's follow these ladies, everybody, to pardon. make our way to breakfast. It's a busy train this morning. Everybody's coming and going. Okay, so... There's the conductor going by. There's Tatiana. Let's talk to her too. But I'm really curious. Do you guys see that the that the um Milos's friend, she took off and we can't see her, so I don't know where she went. She probably went to try and spy a little bit while the baggage conductor was gone. Anyway, there's two people we can talk to at breakfast. Um and one is one was. Did we miss him? Did he disappear? Oh, he left. Okay, uh, let's back up a little bit. Well, not that much. Crap, I missed him. Hey, here, Schmidt. Hey, here, Schmitty. Schmitty, come back. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to rewind more than I want to, but that's okay because you don't have to listen to the whole conversation with Milos, Milos again. We can, I think we can skip through it. There we go. Milos, we need to talk. 
fuzzy. Moi je donnais orange. Auger Schmidt thinks I'm Tyler. I would along with him to keep the game going. Now I want to know what the game is. Or not. He's a volley. Uh, pardon me. Oh wait, no. Right click. Right mouse click to skip the conversation. Okay, so I want to follow her because I don't know where she's going and I don't like it. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. And we go through everybody going to dinner and breakfast and whatever the heck they're doing to the bathroom. Well, I just see him. Let's talk to August Schmidt Good morning, before he Herr leaves. Schmidt. I hope all that shouting didn't wake you up last night. Shouting? What shouting? Guess not. Okay, so Herr Schmidt didn't hear any shouting, so okay. Let's talk to Tatiana. Good morning. How is your grandfather? He's sleeping. Good. Don't forget the tea. I won't. I I want to thank you for what you did. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Has he been ill for long? I don't know. I've been living in France. Grandfather came to bring me home to Russia. I knew he wasn't well, but... I have written out your poem. Thank you, Tatiana. Excuse me. It seems she and Alexei know each other. Случился приступ. По-моему, вы горды тем, что причинили мучение старику. If Vasily Alexandrovich suffers, it's because of his own guilty conscience. I only spoke the truth. How dare you? Вот мазать Татьяну. Стали творить надменность, присущую вашему классу. Вы сами выходите из того же класса. Я? Вряд ли. Во всяком случае, это несущественно. Я посвятил свою жизнь строительству бесклассового общества. Значит, дедушка был прав. Вы в самом деле... А либерал! Тут четыре года пребывания в Париже вы хоть чему-нибудь научились. Видать, буржуазная система образования готовит девушек лишь для замужества, и вы наверняка были надежно защищены от всего даже отдаленных пленающих идей. Алексей, зачем вы так говорите? В детстве мы каждый день играли у реки. Неужели вы забыли? That time no longer exists. Good day. Oh, that is really sad. Alexei and Tatiana were played together as children, and now he's a. Hey, wait a minute. There she goes. Where are you going, lady? Why do you keep going back and forth there? Where are you going? And then she disappears and you can't see her. She just kind of moves kind of quickly. So I'm not sure why she keeps going back there, but it's making me nervous. Ah, and her compa uh, compatriots here. <clears throat> so we had a delicious breakfast of Excuse Belgian waffles and scrambled eggs and um, crisp bacon or rashers, I think you call them in, in uh, England. And what else do we have? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so with the cold hard truth. And Alexi is um, got something going on with the whole thing we read last night in the paper. And by the way, These guys won't talk to us at all. Ah, uh, see, see, see? See how she just came from back there? What's she been doing? What have you been doing? He's a uh, Pardon me. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> I don't like you, sister. You and I are gonna have words. Like, like, like persnickety and, and acidopterygian and foibles. <laughs> okay, here come the ladies from breakfast. You can eavesdrop in their cabin um, before they come to breakfast. I think there's some interesting conversations that happen. But they're having another cup of tea. What were you writing all morning? Oh. Just my diary. I thought it must be a novel. You were writing such a long time. When can Let's I just read blatantly it? spy on them. My diary. Of course. Unless it's a secret. I will. It is, rather. <laughs> No one's ever asked me before. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just teasing you. 
It was just to see the look on your face. Really? Sophie? You were really funny. You would have thought I was asking to borrow money. <laughs> um... They said follow her, but uh, you guys, two of you guys just said to follow the woman we don't like. Um, she just goes back to her cabin. So it would have just been us walking along and watch her go back to her cabin. Um, but throughout the day, she goes back and forth to the front of the train. Let's take a moment and read the newspaper. Uh, pardon me. Hello, Herr Schmidt. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like that guy. Uh, so I want to, sometimes it's confusing to try and get, oh, hey! I was about to read that. All right, fine. <laughs> okay, let's see what else other trouble we can get into today as we progress the story. People's uh, doors are open. Um, let's see. Um... Oh, uh, did we get the translation for that? We did not. Did we? Oh, okay, yeah, we did. So let's read the translation for, for the Firebird. Um, just a moment here. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Firebird. This is a Russian poem for children that we found, just to remind you, in Tyler Whitney's bag. The person we are pretending to be who ended up murdered at the beginning of the game. I love a game where the body shows up, like, right away. You don't have to go looking for it. It's just like, boom, dead body. <laughs> Murder. I'm like, all right. You know? You turn on the game, murder, and I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> um, so, uh, so the firebrand, uh, the firebird, a uh, poem that Tyler Whitney had in his bag, reads as thus in English: The firebird. Every night in a far-off land, the firebird stole uh, golden apples from the royal garden. The old king said to Prince Ivan, go speak with the gray wolf and bring the firebird to me. For I must hear him sing. Okay. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you there. And I will take, I will, oh, see, look at that. See, little touches like that. The fact that he, the developers added in that she messed up and then re-fixed her translation, her fixed her translation. I love games that do that. It's hey, totally not down. necessary to the story. Te ferai pas de mal. Um, in the desert heart of a vast southern land, um, and actually, you know what, before I do this, I think what I'm gonna do so we don't get interrupted is I'm just gonna go down here to our compartment read it and then I'm going to rewind time so we can catch a couple things that we may have Bonjour, missed monsieur. while reading it. Just make things a little bit easier. A little bit less noisy. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what happens when you drink on stream. Okay, so let's read our poem again. Let's try this again. The Firebird. Every night in a far off land, the firebird stole golden apples from the royal garden. The old king said to Prince Ivan, go speak with the gray wolf and bring the firebird to me, for I must hear him sing. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you there, or I will take you. In the desert heart of a vast southern land hangs a cage of silver bells. 
on the red rock painted with the old shapes of dream time. The bells rang out when Ivan seized it, but the firebird had flown. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. A world away lies a colder kingdom, ringed with blue. In a circle of ancient stones, the firebird guards a horse with a golden mane. The firebird vanished in a bright flash as Ivan grasped the reins. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. On the rooftop of the world, <laughs> oops, <laughs> Elena sleeps under the firebird's wing. One look at her and Prince Ivan forgot his quest. He kissed her and she rose. The firebird watched them go. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. They turned toward home and tired on the wayside slept. His jealous brothers, seeing them, cut Ivan into a hundred pieces. Oof. Gray wolf, cried Elena, Le we must find. Munich. Munich. 20 Munich. Uh, Gray wolf, cried Elena, we must find the waters of life and death. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. In the warm seas, under a cross of stars on a grassy island. Stand the heads of silent gods looking ever outwards. There, Elena found the waters of life and death and made Ivan whole. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you to the city of the temple built by the son of David. When the blue doors opened, Ivan and Elena entered in and there the firebird waited to open his throat and sing to them. And so they dwelt in harmony all their lives. And each night the firebird sang his story to them until death, the destroyer came and overtook them as they ran and turned their bones to fire and then to dust. In typical, as Heather would say, Russian fashion, even their childhood poems are kind of depressing. So that is the whole thing, the whole tale of Ivan and Elena and their love and how um, Ivan was torn apart and then brought back together and they heard the song of the firebird and then they died. So um, I'm going to rewind because that's going to have taken some time for us to do. So I'm going to go back to about here um, because there's a couple things that we want to do here. Oh, he did. Kirian, tell your dad to type something. Hi, Kirian's dad. Yeah, I know, Kaylin. I'm in complete agreement with you. So, um, so next thing that we need to do now, a couple things to note. There's a master key which is missing. And despite what the conductor so rudely said about us in French. Yeah, I heard him. <laughs> we did not steal that key. So there's a key to be found somewhere and I want to find it. I suspect the um, Serbians, I think they're Serbs, yeah, um, which I know there's a lot going on in Serbia, especially now in modern history. I do not mean any offense to the people from Serbia. I'm talking about those particular Serbians on this train. That sounds like such a racist thing. <laughs> not other Serbians, just those Serbians. <laughs> so God. Um Good night, Charlene. Thank you for coming and thank you for modding. You have a good sleep. I'm going to be going right after this is done. I'm going to bed. <laughs>
going to have dinner in bed and then I'm going to sleep. So we need to find that uh, key. And then also, um, there is, um, let's play a little game. This game is a pain in the butt, but it's important. So uh, we're going to first try and find that boy's whistle. So there's a boy going up and down the hallway with a whistle, and I want to talk to him. Just because I'm just curious about him, his name is Francois. Ah, there he is. Hey, Francois. I love how he just pops up like that. Hey, get back here, kid. Where are you going? You have something that I want. Where'd he go? People keep disappearing and I can't find him. Well, I'll just sit for him, wait and sit for him to come back. There we go. Shall we order some oh, what's this? Champagne. It's not even 10 o'clock. So what? You really are rather wonderful. Do you know that? Francois was just playing with what sounded like a beetle on the floor. So maybe if we catch this beetle? May I invite you to join me in a bottle of Veuve Clicquot 1906? Oh, we, c we couldn't possibly. Oh, why, thank you. You're very kind. Don't be. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is August Schmidt. Sophie de Breteuil. And this timid person is Mademoiselle Norton. You are French? I'm Bohemian. Le and Mademoiselle Norton is English. Munich. Indeed. 20 minutes How far will you be traveling? As far as possible. Thank you. And you, Monsieur Auguste? Oh, Schmidt. August Schmidt. I'm traveling on business, a simple transaction, and then back to Munich, to my wife and children. How lovely. It's too bad your wife couldn't come with you. Yes, it must be hard on her to have you away. Oh, well, she has the children. But it is true, I do travel a great deal. Are you ladies traveling alone? No, I'm traveling with Sophie. And Sophie is traveling with me. Ah, yes. <laughs> of course. You should go careful in these foreign countries. Two young ladies like yourself. In the East, things are not always what they seem. And you, Monsieur Auguste? Are you always what you seem? Schmidt. Why? What do I seem? To me, I think you seem like a man with many secrets. Secrets? Me? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I will tell you, for me to be sitting here talking in this delightful way with two so enchanting and beautiful young ladies, this is a secret I would do better not to tell my wife. <laughs> Darling, I think I feel another one of my headaches coming on. Oh, no. <laughs> you better lie down right away. It was a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Auguste. I feel one of my headaches coming time, on. Yes? You have my word of honor. I think that headache is called the creeper headache. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Jasmine just wants to walk up and just flick him. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I get those headaches too from time to time. <laughs> you creeper doodle. Big fat cheater head. Okay, so um, Munich is coming up. So let's see if we can catch this beetle. Um, if you don't play in this order, you, you, you might be like, why are we trying to catch this beetle? But later on, we'll try and get the whistle, and the kid will want something for it. So this, we're just going to save time and grab the beetle. This is a pain. It really is an absolute pain to do. Um, we're going to take these uh, matches out like this. And then you have to just sort of kind of keep clicking around. The beetle will move away from you. And you, it's just basically a click it game. It's a pain. There's no way to skip it either. Eventually... Eventually, you'll just get it. Okay, so that now gives us a beetle in a box here. A beetle in a box. Sounds like a avant-garde film about the beetles and their... <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay, so Munich is coming up and August Schmidt is making his way 
to somewhere. Soon we will arrive in München. Are you ready to proceed with our agreement? The answer is yes, Herr Schmidt. Our deal is on. We are arriving in Munich. He wants the gold, which... Ladies and gentlemen, the Orient Express is now leaving for Vienna, Budapest, Belgrad, Sofia... Bitte sehr vorsichtig sein mit diesem großen Koffer. Wir sagen, um Gottes Willen, nicht hinfallen. Meine Damen und Herren, the Orient Express fährt jetzt in Richtung Wien, Budapest, Belgrad... Oh, a new man. Interesting. Who's that? So it is noon on the morning of June 24th, 1914 on the Orient Express, and we just saw a couple of interesting things happen there. First of all, Herr Schmidt put the, um, let's see here. Let me just, did he take it off? Did he put it on? Did he? So, um, <laughs> I'm going to read what the strategy guide says here for this part of what we just saw. Um, it's pretty quick. Um, when August finally catches you in a corridor, he asks if you're ready to proceed with the transaction, meaning Tyler Whitney had that gold egg and he was going to sell it for gold. I don't know to whom. Oh, yeah, to Kronos. And then give the gold to um, August Schmidt for, for guns, for the uh, Serbian, um, oh, what are they uh, called? The um, revolutionists. Anyway, uh, Kath Fing uh, so when, did you notice how Robert Kath fingered that W on the scarf in his pocket? I still don't know what that's about after all these years. Um, uh, Kath fingers the W scarf in his pocket. That's Anna's scarf. A talisman, a symbol of his determination to avenge Tyler's death. Or maybe it just feels so darn silky. I think what it's about is, um, is that remember when Anna said, I know you're not Tyler Whitney. And he said, are you going to keep my secret? And then she ran off. He thinks maybe she has something to do with this and maybe he's trying to help her. So that's my best guess. Um, that's really my best. It's a lame guess. Um, so he loaded his merchandise on the, on the train. Um, and... So that's basically it. However, um, there's a couple things we missed. And one of those is um, after we learned about the Firebird um, and got the Firebird poem, we can put two to two together and figure that that thing that, that he was carrying, that Tyler Whitney was carrying, was that firebird. Kronos wants that. So if we go to Kronos, we might be able to tell him that we have it. Let's rewind a little bit. If you, not that much. Oh, I see. Before, because you have to get into Munich. Okay. So, um, so let's, uh, let's go see. Herr Whitney, soon we will arrive in München. Are you ready to... Okay. Well, we'll just do it in this order and see what happens. So we have... Uh, her Herr Whitney has put the goods on the train. He expects payment. I don't know exactly where he thinks he's going to get it from. But we are now after Munich, and it turns out that these two... I'm not a little girl anymore. Mm. You're not. Hi, Renee. Okay, so um, so we just left Munich, 
And um, so let's go down and see if there's something. Oops, wrong way. was quite ill during the night. He's much better today, Monsieur. Fortunately, we had a doctor. A doctor, not a Russian doctor. No, sir, an American, Monsieur Whitney. How interesting. Is he actually treating the count then? He has given him a sedative, Monsieur. Sedative? I believe a sort of uh, herbal tea. Oh, well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Still, it does seem a little irregular. Yeah, not that we English see anything wrong with a cup of tea. It can do wonders for an upset stomach. Still, one rather expects to see the usual paraphernalia. A doctor's bag instills confidence and so on. They're given the importance of the patient, I mean. I suppose Mr. Whitney is travelling with quite a bit of luggage. Monsieur? No, you know, so many Americans do. I cannot say, monsieur. Must be the fellow I passed just now in the smoking car. Rather young, isn't he, for a doctor? I believe he is young, yes. I must say, he didn't look at all like the usual sort of American one expects to see on these trains. You know, flashing money about. Quite the opposite, in fact. Rather unusual for a young fellow like that to book a double compartment, prices being what they are and all that. Wouldn't you say? I do not know, monsieur. Well, I suppose he wants his privacy. Nothing wrong with that. Monsieur, I really must return. No, of course, of course. Uh, don't let me keep you. Thank you, monsieur. Au revoir. Premier service. Uh, pardon me. Premier service. Le déjeuner okay, service. so, um... Lunch is served. A couple things just happened there. I'm going to go back out to the menu because I want you to, to, to hear. Because sometimes it might be hard for you to hear the game sounds. I hope it isn't. Um, but in Munich, do you remember that a man came on the train? Um, we looked over to the right and there was a man hopping on the train. I, and this is a new voice we haven't heard. So there may be a new character that we have here to meet. Let's talk to Herr Schmidt. Uh, he's going to ask us for money and then uh, we're going to see what's going to happen. Herr Schmidt, are you having lunch alone? As a matter of fact, I'm waiting for a lady. Have a nice wait. All right, he's waiting for a lady. Hmm, okay, so... Le déjeuner est servi. Lunch is served. Lunch is served. Premier service. Okay, I love how he calls that. Déjeuner est servi. Lunch is served. Oh, this game. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, a couple things... We're just going to go through and see. Somebody left his door unlocked. Mm. He's sleeping. So, let's go this way. Can we look down or over? Oh. A picture of the Madonna. Here's that. Don't mind me at all. Here's the train's quite full. Awful nuisance when you think you've got a compartment to yourself and then they stick a complete stranger in with you at the last minute. <laughs> Happened to me any number of times. Oops, that's not where I meant to go. Sorry. This is not your compartment. Uh-oh. You Are you going all the way to Constantinople? I am traveling to a small We were able to get in before because somebody was blocking him, right? Oh, lovely. There. That must be your family I saw next door. We got in because the conductor was blocking the um, other conductor's view. What I'm trying to do, though, is go here because I'm hoping that we can... Darn it, it's locked. I believe my son has taken it. Really? What was the name of the town you mentioned? Masjid es Suleiman. Of course. Last night, Anna Wolf gave Tatiana something to hide, and I was hoping to get into her room and see what it could be. Why not? Oh, well, I hmm. suppose you being a Frenchman, I just assume... I am an engineer, monsieur. The Anglo-Persian company is doing the most innovative research. Well, there's not much we can do in here except to see that he's sleeping peacefully. There's nothing we can really click on, I don't think. How the reserves in that little town, what's it called again? Really as big as they say? I cannot offer an opinion, monsieur. No, of course you wouldn't. Well, there's nothing we can see in here. There's a man who's doing a lot of talking. Let's take a look at him as well, too, and see if we can also find that whistle. He has a fine scientific mind. He seems like a very active little boy. I don't suppose you could ask him for my cravat. Uh, I, I think now that I, I remember him using it as a kind of sieve to test salinity in the water. Most remarkable in a boy of seven. Don't you agree? Quite remarkable. 
It is the natural curiosity of the scientific mind, monsieur. Yes. All that trapped in the body of a little boy. <laughs> Good night, Tristram. Okay, so this man, we don't know who he is yet, but we're going to find oh, out. Oh, Lord. Not this silly business with Madame K.O. again. So typical to devote weeks on end of the he front talks page a lot. of this preposterous murder trial. We have to wait until he's going out outside, um, well, up and down the hallway, Frenchman, so we have to listen for the whistle. The but in the meantime, the I think it's time to talk to Kronos. Where was he going? I want to listen in if he has something to say to the conductor. Are they talking? They are. There's a lot of talking going on, so it's hard to hear what they're saying. Including me. Quand un homme du monde veut attirer l'attention d'une jolie femme, tu peux compter sur lui pour qu'il dépense beaucoup d'argent. Si tu as bien vu, peut-être que j'en serai bénéficiaire. De toute façon, je garde espoir que le garde du corps du RM sera plus généreux. Tu sais à qui elles appartiennent C'est pas vrai. Avec quelqu'un comme ça, on ne sait jamais. Il vous traite comme un point de vous crache dans la figure, vous menace, et puis un petit cadeau à la fin du voyage et on peut prendre sa retraite sur la Côte d'Azur. La Côte d'Azur, c'est pas pour moi. Mes plans de retraite sont faits et ils ne sont pas en France. 1914 sera ma dernière année en Europe. C'est dur d'attendre, pas vrai Si tu pouvais voir la jolie petite maison qui m'attend à Alger, l'Europe ne te manquerait pas non plus. C'est un paradis pour ceux qui savent l'apprécier. Demande donc aux dames des derniers compartiments. Attention, tu ne veux pas risquer la récompense que tu espères recevoir à la fin du voyage, non Récompense La seule récompense qu'il risque de me donner, c'est de faire de moi son collègue avec son sabre. Allez, à bientôt <rire> Allez, à plus tard uh, Renee just asked me an interesting question. She asked if there's like captions. Um, and there are, as you can see, for languages that are not English. There are no captions for English. However, um, on a, uh, a forum, um, on the GOG forums, the good old game forums, um, I did see someone who had painstakingly written out the English captions. And um, I can go and look for that. It's like a little mod you can add that someone just shared with the community and I can add that in in the next live stream. I think it would be helpful because it is a little bit hard to understand some of the over eavesdropping you do in English. But anyway, um, Kirian is saying Algiers is at, in Algeria in Africa. At the time this game takes place, it was a French Bonjour, colony. Monsieur. So we're going to knock on the door here. Are you still here? Tell His Excellency I'd like to tell him I want to talk to him about the Firebird. The American, Your Excellency. I believe this time you'll want to speak to him. Yeah. It's really hard to hear these guys' voices. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. Why, thank you, Kahina. I think I will. Good morning, Mr. Cotton. I hope you have good news for me today. That depends. Do you still want the Firebird? Do you have it? What happened to Tyler? The misadventures of Mr. Whitney and his colleagues are of no interest to me. Let us conclude this transaction quickly. We both have many other things to do. I with my collection and you with your travels and special interests. Your treatment of Vasily Alexandrovich, for example. <sighs> Datura Stramonium. Very interesting. It's very simple. Simple to us, perhaps. But few European doctors would have thought of it. Once in Nigeria. But I digress. Do you have the firebird? Not technically. Then I shall waste no more of your time. I shall look forward to our next meeting, Mr. Cobb. I believe if we sit here a little bit, we can eavesdrop. 
I think they might talk a little bit. Let's see. It is as I Mm-hmm. Give me your excellence. I told you so last night. Why have you not searched the compartment? The compartment is guarded, your excellence, day and night. Ah, uh, yes. The dog. I am not afraid, Your Excellency. But if I enter the compartment, that dog will attack me. If Your Excellency wishes, of course. I understand, King. Several hours remain before Vienna. I will arrange a convenient absence for this woman. And this animal whose presence seems to make you so uneasy. Then, Kahina, you will find the fire. Yes, Your Excellency. Did you hear that? Basically, the uh, Excellency is going to create a diversion uh, between now and uh, uh, Vienna to get Anna Wolf out of her compartment so that uh, Kahina can properly search it for the Firebird. Let's take a look around and, you know, like you do. Sick men of Europe. The life of Abdul Hamid II, last Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, a memoir by his personal physician, Dr. Ismail Zaid. I would not be surprised if this is a real book. That's what the, the Sultan is reading, or His Excellency, or whatever it is. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Okay, so not much else to see here except, oops, wrong way, this way. I know how to get out of this game. Sure, watch me go the same way again. Just curious to see what'll happen. Nope. There we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I know how to play this game. I totally got it. No problem. Absolutely. Right on top of everything. Sure, no problem. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm on a... We're going to try and find the whistle, and then I'm going to end the live stream. So we've been at it for a while. And I don't feel good, as I've said a hundred times already. But by the way, Joe, thank you for that heating pad um, suggestion. Let's see. What else can we do here? Um... Bonjour, monsieur. Hmm. Can do a little bit more eavesdropping, but I'm hoping that we could get into somebody's compartment. Sometimes in the game, you just kind of have to wait around a little bit until someone passes through or whatnot, and the conductor's not looking. Uh, Kirian is telling us that the Ottoman Empire was comprised of Turkey and some of Eastern Europe, which would be disbanded in 1917. Constantinople, which is now Istanbul, was its capital, which is where we're heading. Okay, good. Pardon. Oh, no, she won't do any good, but... Ooh, we just got into somebody's compartment here. Who is this? Uh-oh. <laughs> Caught! Hey, there's the whistle kid. There he is. Which way did he go? Sorry for all the turning. I hope you're not getting too dizzy. I think he went in the other compartment. Come here, kid. You, 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 you. Hey, petit. Viens voir. Tu me le donnes? No. Je l'ai trouvé. Il est à moi. Bonjour, monsieur. Wait. Excusez-moi. Oh, so when he says we won't give it to him, he goes and gets the whistle and brings it back. Watch. Excusez-moi. On échange. D'accord. Si tu veux. Il dort maintenant. Il ne marche pas. That's so creepy. It's sleeping now. It can't walk anymore. That makes me nervous. I think he's going to pull the legs off that beetle. That kid is creepy. Okay, so we now have a whistle. Let's take a look at that. 
Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. No, I want to blow on it. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. There. All right, all right, Robert. Fine. Okay, so let's uh. Oh. Are we invited? Hey! They didn't invite us! <gasps> See, I told you, I think he pulls the legs off of that. You know what? Now's the time. Let's do a quick little. Ha ha! And now we get into the ladies' compartment. Let's do some spying and various other, you know, nefarious deeds. So these are the ladies. This is the ladies' bags. Isn't this cool? This is how you traveled in old time days. You know, you would pull out. I know, Karen, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, how come we're not invited? I mean, yeah, we're criminals, we're nefarious, but still, we like a little bit of beautiful music, just like the next criminal. I'm personally hurt. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, so, um... Dear friend, last night my seductress allowed me to sit by the side of her bed for a long while and brush her hair. How happy I was. Her embrace pulls me into a dream, far away from my old, upholstered world. At last... Andre Vientine, in this fragile, rattling old box, racing into the future. <laughs> so, uh, we are looking at the journal of Sophie Norton, the English woman traveling with the uh, young French woman. I'll read just a little bit, but I'm going to read it kind of quickly because we'll get caught if we're staying here. We joked about our fellow travelers. There's a fat German businessman with a little red mouth. He speaks very loudly to the waiter and strokes the lapels of his jacket with plump fingers. In the corridor, I passed a dark, seedy young student type, Russian, I think, who is rather self-consciously carrying on, carrying a copy of Also Sprik Zarastura. Also Sprak? Um, I think that's... I, I'm not sure. Can somebody Google that? I mean, I'm sure that's Zeres. Zeres. <laughs> anyway, I know that that's a real book. Um, there are two other Russians in our car, an old gentleman traveling with a young, young, lovely young schoolgirl. Madame Buterell tells me he is a count and some sort of cousin of the Tsar. So our count is uh, pretty well connected in Russia. At least I think so, as her English is hardly better than my French. Oh, and I forgot to mention Madame B. She and her son are in the compartment next to ours, um, with her husband across the way. Is it marriage wonderful? <laughs> Mademoiselle Buterel is a, or Madame Buterel is an engineer, no, Monsieur Boutwell is an engineer of some sort, and he's taking them all to live in some little town in Persia. Madame Buterell grits her teeth when she talks about it, emphasizing the importance of her husband's work. I told her it may not be as bad as she expects, although of course it'll probably be worse. At least in the desert, their little boy will be able to make all the racket he wants without bothering anyone. So I'm gonna leave this for you to read. It's fascinating um, during the, um, during the, um, uh, you know, when you buy the game. So, Let's head on out. That's pretty much all you can see in their room, but her journal is interesting, and she updates it throughout the trip. So if you can sneak in here again, you can see more. Mais non, voyons. Vous savez bien que c'est impossible. Ce chien devait être en cage dans la soute à bagages, tout simplement. Je dois dire que je suis très surprise qu'une compagnie aussi respectable satisfasse avec tant d'indulgence les caprices de créatures excentriques, d'artistes, au point d'ignorer ses clients les plus respectables. Je pensais avoir acheté un billet pour un train de grand luxe, pas un ticket pour le cirque. Je comprends, madame. Votre opinion est entièrement justifiée. Je vais en parler au chef de train immédiatement. 
Je souhaite que vous fassiez plus que lui parler. Je souhaite vivement que cet animal soit expulsé des voitures lits. M'avez-vous comprise oh, Oui, madame. Well, she knocked it down to him, man. Excuse me. All right, so, but that means that the dog is in the sleeping car. That means we can finally get into Anna, Anna Wolf's uh, compartment. So, um, the chat is telling me that thus spoke Zarathustra is a book by Nishki um, and Zor Zoroaster, also known as Zarathustra, was an ancient Iranian speaking prophet. Yeah, much of the work deals with ideas such as the internal uh, reoccurrence of the same, the parable on the death of God, and the prophecy of Ubermensch. Oh, she's mad. Rien n'est pire qu'une femme vexée. Et je crois bien qu'elle ne soit pas prête à abandonner. Dommage. Les règles sont les règles. Annoncer la triste nouvelle à Madame Bouffe et emmener son chien dans le compartiment à bagages. Moi, monsieur Oui, vous. Pourquoi Vous avez peur des chiens Non, 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 monsieur. J'adore les animaux. Alors c'est très bien. Faites pour le mieux. Et surtout, présentez nos excuses à Madame Bouffe. Souvenez-vous qu'elle est l'une de nos meilleures clientes. Elle a voyagé dans ce train plus souvent que vous. Je le sais, monsieur. All right, our dog is going to take a little trip and then, then we'll be able to do some spying. But we're going to do that in the next episode. <laughs> for those of you in chat, stick with me. Um, but for those of you on YouTube, I want to say I'm so glad you joined me. We'll continue on uh, from Munich and um, things are going to heat up at the end of uh, this day, July 24th, 1914. Um and uh, uh, the story will continue. And in the next episode, we're also going to get to hear that incredibly beautiful concert, which I highly recommend that you stick around and watch uh, that. It's beautiful music. And oh, they did such a great job with this game. But in any case, if you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here on the Orient Express as we continue on to Constantinople. And as always, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>